Hey guys, welcome back. This is vlog number five. Very excited to do this. It's Thursday. Wait, it's Wednesday. God, I, I lose track of time. It's really bad how bad I lose track of time. Um, I always gotta wipe this camera in the morning because I always find out there's something on it that doesn't need to be on it. Okay, so this vlog is gonna be a simple one. I wanted to talk about, I, I mean, I'm very happy that people have found their way out of college. Congratulations, you guys. And unless you're going to grad school, right out of college, which most of you aren't, I think you guys need to figure out how to find jobs directly after college. And there's four main ways to do that. It's very simple, and I want you guys to listen to it because this is important now. This is very important. Now, finding a job in your career path is something that not a lot of people can do. It's very difficult, and it takes them a lot of time to do it, especially if you didn't have any internships, which you should have done. But I'm gonna tell you how to do it. Four main ways, let's go. Okay, so step number one, you have to make sure you do your research. Now, the reason why research is so important is because after you get out of college, you gotta ask yourself, what in the world am I doing at this point now that I went from being an undergraduate to unemployed? How am I actually moving my career forward? Now that's what you have to ask yourself. And if you find out that you haven't done anything, then that's probably your first issue. Do the research and figure out where you can go from after being unemployed. You don't want to live at your parents' house for the next five years. Go, do the research, and do the work. No one's going to give you handouts. No one's going to say, oh, here's a new job. And if they do, lucky you. But most people don't get that. So for the 90% of people who don't get that, listen to what I'm saying. Do the research. Let's move on to step two. So the next step really after you get out of college and you need a job is gaining connections because connections is one of the most important things when it comes to actually finding jobs and work. For example, I had to gain the connections in order for my business to move forward where it is now. Editing, videography, stuff like that, I couldn't have done if I didn't go out and actually get phone numbers and figure out people who do the same thing I do. Don't rely on just a piece of paper, which is your degree, to get you where you want to be. You got to do the work yourself. So that's step two, gaining connections. Remember that. The third step you really want to work on is, is a very important step that I think um, almost trumps the other ones that I've mentioned thus far. And that's really practicing what you learned. Because you can get a degree, okay? Let's say you get a degree, and then a year from after you get that degree, you suddenly realize that you don't actually remember everything you learned. So now you're going to a job, and let's say it's biology or engineering or anything like that. If you end up going into this job and you don't actually remember most of the skills that you learned, you're gonna screw yourself, man, or woman. And then you're gonna be sitting there trying to figure out how you're gonna convince this awesome company to hire you on, but you don't know what you're doing. So, before you get that dream job, do your practice. Practice all your equations and all that stuff. It'll help you, I'm telling you, and you won't regret it. All right guys, so after I get out of work, I'm gonna go ahead and let you know what the fourth and final thing is. It's actually pretty surprising once I tell you. Uh, but like I said, I gotta go to work. Oh, by the way, just to let you know about my day, uh, it's going great. I had to go to that meeting last night, which was tiring. Of course, getting out of work and having to do that, but I actually have to go to the same meeting with the same person tomorrow night, and I, guys, I got some great stuff happening, and I'll definitely let you know in detail what's going on probably in tomorrow's vlog. But anyway, let me go to work, I'll get out, tell you what the fourth thing is, and then we can eat cereal together. I don't know. All right. Yeah, guys, sorry. Um, I forgot to mention that I won't be at home for a while. I gotta, I, I gotta go to church. I got church, so... You guys get to meet them, that's always fun. But I'll be home later on, and, and then I'll let you know the fourth step to how to get a job after college. Sorry about that, I'll see you guys in a second. to control us as the word of God says in Galatians chapter 5. church, went to church, 
church, praise the Lord and everything. It's great, great message. Uh, I showed you guys a shot of that earlier. And so finally, let's get to the very last point I was talking about earlier, which is the four uh, ways to get a job and to get off your butt after you graduate college. Uh, or university, because I know some people get offended by that. Like, I didn't go to college, I went to university. But listen, the fourth and final thing you do to really find yourself and get that job that you want is to not, wait, I was going somewhere with that. Give me a second. You know how, okay, let me explain something about vlogging. When you do it throughout the day, sometimes you end up forgetting what you said earlier. That's very frustrating. It was something, and it was very important and I completely forgot what it was. Wait, it's coming. Okay, I figured it out. Here it is. You have to know who you are outside of the degree you got. That's what it was. Okay, you have to know who you are outside of the degree you got. The point that I'm making with that is this. Some people say, oh, well, uh, I got my degree in engineering, so I'm an engineer. Or I got my degree in uh, biology, so I'm like, no, no, no. Some people have to realize that even though you have a piece of paper that says this is what you do and this is how you are placed in society, that does not mean that's where you're supposed to be. Look outside the box. Don't just look in biology or don't just look in journalism. Don't just look in the degree field that you were awarded. Look around. There might be something that you didn't realize you actually love to do and that might become your future. For example, there are some YouTubers by the name of Rhett and Link. They have a channel called Magical, uh, a Good Mythical Morning. Very awesome. And they have their own little story about how Link, you'll see him, he has a, he's a guy with glasses. He worked at IBM, okay? Both Rhett and Link were best friends throughout their years. And I'm talking about since they were kids all the way up to their adulthood. They both got degrees in engineering and neither of them use it. Neither of them. They are both in entertainment and they love it. Point is, you don't want to get out of college thinking that this is where you belong and this is the spot you're supposed to stay at. Only when you leave your comfort zone do you really figure out what you're supposed to be doing. Now, if, if, if you're led back to engineering or led back to your degree, feel great. But if you find out that you are actually supposed to do something else and that you are led to do something else, do that and don't just stay in that degree field that you were awarded. That's the best advice I can give. So guys, congratulations for finally graduating college and even high school. Great, really. But like I said, make sure you, you do all those steps and you'll figure it out. It, it's a great tip and it worked for me, okay? Thank you guys so much. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna go eat now because I'm hungry and then I'll let you guys know what happens for the next vlog. I have a meeting tomorrow night. I hope it goes well. Everything's gonna be great. Um, I never know how to end these things.